What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I love Tubi, and I was looking to make a top 10 list. There was too many movies, so I'm making a few top five lists. So welcome to the top five horror movies on Tubi, Elevated Horror Edition. So uh, without wasting too much time, thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button if you like this content. Comment in the, uh, get, Leave me a comment. Tell me what movies you're watching on Tubi. If you like Tubi, what's your favorite platform? Um, yeah, let's jump in with number five is probably the most uh, well-known movie on the list. It is Hellraiser, Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Uh, Hellraiser, I think, touches a lot of genres, but it's like an entry-level elevated horror movie, in my personal opinion. If you like Hellraiser, then the next four movies that I talk about, you may also like. Now, they're not the same kind of movie necessarily, but they're all a little bit more thought-provoking, a little bit more artfully done. Uh, you know, elevated horror stuff. I don't like all that stuff, but I do like plenty of it. If you don't know what Hellraiser is, just go watch it. It's wild. And uh, I love that movie. Didn't used to. Number four is Lars von Trier's The House That Jack Built, starring Matt Dillon. Um, I just did a whole video on this. If you want a deep dive into that, you can go check that out. Um, it's about a serial killer that thinks that his killings are art. And he wants to explain why that is. And it's very much a arrogant film, but it is brutal and it is violent. And uh, I've seen it a few times. There's a couple of parts that are absolutely hilarious. There's a couple of parts that are gut wrenching this movie. It's a very divisive, polarizing movie. Go check that one out. You may not be able to handle this one. <laughs> uh, number three is the last movie that actually scared me. I keep saying that it was paranormal activity, but I'm lying. I keep forgetting about this movie, man. The Babadook. That movie is terrifying, man. The Babadook's also on Tubi. It is a like a haunted house type of story. You know what? Let me look up the exact synopsis of that one so I don't lead you down the wrong way if you haven't heard of the Babadook before. But 2014, I didn't realize it was that old. But it, it was a very, very scary movie. A single mother plagued by the violent death of her husband battles with her son's fear of a monster lurking in the house, but soon discovers a sinister presence all around her. Yeah, dude, like monster, horror, uh, ghost story, uh, that kind of haunted house type of thing, dude. It's a very, very, very well-made movie. Um, the kid in the movie is hard to deal with, though. You may want to just punch this kid in his face. Um, and if you do that, I won't be mad at you, man. He's annoying. But number two is probably the second most widely known movie on the list. It is Suspiria, but it's the original Suspiria. It's um, probably the most popular, maybe most important giallo horror movie that I can think of, Italian horror movie. Um, Suspiria is about a dance group. Uh, like It's a dance group, but it's also a coven of witches. And I'll leave it at that. It's wild. Um I'm not the biggest fan of Suspiria, but I understand the importance of this movie. So I had to put this one on the list. There's no way I could make a list like this about elevated horror movies and not include Suspiria if it's on the platform. That would be uh, pretty dumb, I think. So, But number one of the top five elevated horror movies on Tubi is one that I just came around on. I didn't used to like this movie. It is The Witch. The one with the two Vs. Yeah, that one. Man. The mom in that movie is just, you know what? Never mind. I don't care. And Taylor Joy, I think it's one of her first movies. Uh, but The Witch is on Tubi. It is about Robert Eggers, man. I almost said Ari Aster. I always get those dudes mixed up. In 1630 New England, panic and despair envelops a farmer, his wife, and their children when their youngest son uh, suddenly vanishes. The family blames Thomason, who is the oldest daughter of the family, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, who was watching the kid at the time of his disappearance. With suspicion and paranoia mounting, twin siblings Mercy and Jonas suspect Thomason of witchcraft, testing the clan's faith, loyalty, and love for one another. This movie is divisive. It's hard to watch, and I cannot stand the characters in this movie. Thomason is the only one that I understand because she, she's just getting the short end of the stick at every turn. But I think that's the point. You're supposed to hate these people. They're like, they live in like a old religious town and they're so over religious that they get kicked out of a religious town. They get like banished. They, they choose to pick up and leave versus like acclimate to their way of life. It's wild. These people are absolutely insane. Um, 
hard movie to watch. I just started coming around on this one. I, I think even when I didn't like it, I recognized how well made it was. But man, if you haven't seen The Witch, go check that movie out. It'll it'll uh, it'll probably ruin your day. <laughs> Let's run over the list one more time before I go of the top five elevated horror movies on Tubi. Number five, Hellraiser. Four, The House That Jack Built. Three is The Babadook. Ooh, that's a scary movie. Number two is Suspiria from 1977. I don't know if the remake's on there. Uh, but number one is The Witch from uh, Robert Eggers. Go check out these movies. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. These videos are short and sweet. I kind of like making them. So uh, if you have another uh, recommendation for a top five video, let me know. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.